Well, good Sunday morning to you there at Portside. George Vastine here. Hopefully everything's going well with you today. You're getting ready for your morning devotion. And uh, we'll get into our um, prayer time with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Okay, folks, I uh, just had a little piece of scripture I wanted to read to you today. And uh, hopefully this scripture is uh, speaking of prayer. And uh, we just said the Lord's Prayer. And hopefully prayer is a big part of your life, of the conversation that you have uh, between you and God. In 1 John, in chapter 5 of 1 John, the scripture says this, in verse 12, He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And so what does that mean? This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. That is talking about prayer. That is talking about us praying to God. You know, I read where because of, of uh, COVID-19, how difficult it is for people to be together. And I'm sure you're aware of that uh, there at Portside, uh, how you would like to be uh, with family and friends at times, but right now you have to be at a distance. But I also read that even together from a distance, prayer is something that unites us. And I hope you can understand that today, that although you may feel isolated at times, although you may feel like um, that you can't be around the people that you would really like to be around right now, and it seems like that maybe you're at a distance from people that you care about the most, understand that prayer unites us. They can be here, you can be here, praying goes up, God hears that, and he blesses that. You are loved today. God loves you, your family loves you, uh, my wife and I, we love you, uh, the people that are sitting there with you, if you look around that room, those people there, they love you. God is love. And to come together in a time uh, of trials, as we've been in since March, it seems that God is there to just hold us tighter, bring us closer into Him. And my prayer is today, is that you will continue to ask God for help for your fellow man, encouragement for them, and strength for your family, and yourselves as well. And I believe God hears that. I believe he sees our needs. He hears our prayers. This song I taught our granddaughters when they were just uh, little, little girls. They're still little, but uh, hopefully this is something that you can sing with me today. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon whisper a prayer in the evening to keep your heart 
in tune. God answers prayer in the morning. God answers prayer at noon. God answers prayer in the evening to keep your heart in tune. Jesus may come in the morning. Jesus may come at noon. Jesus may come in the evening. So keep your heart in tune. All right, folks, I pray you have a blessed day, and I will talk to you again next week. God bless you, Brother Delbert. Take it away.